Hey guys, Adam from ABC and Better Boating here. Today I'm going to show you how to launch your trailer boat. We've gone around and we've unstrapped the boat. We've taken all our tie downs off. We've put the bungs in. Very important to get those bungs in before we put the boat in the water. We've got the chock out of the, uh, of the engine. Engine's ready to trim down. We've also got, and you might not be able to see there, but we've got our dock lines on. We've got our fenders on ready to go. We've got our canopies up, covers off instruments. Everything's sorted. So the next thing to do is to back the boat down the boat ramp and put the trailer in the water at the right depth. Okay, so before we put it all the way down, I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to take off my winch strap and I'm going to release my safety chain and I'm going to rely on my boat catch to hold the boat there. These boat catches are fantastic. You can pretty much literally pick the boat up by the whole bow with the boat catch and it's indestructible and infallible. I think they're at boatcatch.com. We'll put a link at the bottom anyway. So we'll get that done, then we'll back the trailer down the rest of the way. Okay, so where is my winch handle? There it is. Release a bit of winch. The boat's still not going anywhere. It's stuck on the trailer because it's quite dry, it's quite far out of the water. Undo the safety chain and then we'll unclip the winch. So now I can back the boat the rest of the way down so that it's deep enough. We've got the boat in the water at the right depth, different boat ramps, different boats and trailers are all going to be different. But for us on this boat ramp today, we're going to sink the trailer till those rear wheel arches are just about in the water. So using the same boats and trailers for the last 15 years, I know exactly where to put my boats and how far to put the trailers in. But we can certainly help you with that sort of stuff if you want some one-on-one -on -one training on yours. Now the next thing to do is going to be climb in the boat, get the boat running, drive it off the trailer, put it alongside the wharf. So being careful in the boat ramp because they can be quite slippery. One hand for me, one hand for the boat at all times. So now we're in the boat, trim the engine down. We'll let it go all the way down. We'll just check that it doesn't hit the boat ramp. That's the end. So didn't hit the boat ramp. What we're gonna do is trim it up a little bit anyway, just to be safe. Turn the engine to the first position. While I'm sitting here, I might let it run for 30 seconds. I'll turn on my navigation equipment, turn on my multifunction display, which is my plotter and sounder, turn on my VHF radio. The other thing we might do, we we'll all chuck the fenders over the side. So we've preset the fenders to the right height for the wharf, which is good. Got a bow line, got a stern line, ready to go. It's not really a bad day today. Hopefully the visibility will stay up for us. If we do need to uh, turn the navigation lights on, we've got them ready. What I'm gonna do now for my boat catch is I need to drive the boat forward a little bit, take the load off the boat catch, release the boat catch handle, then let the boat slide off the trailer. It may need a little bit of reverse. We'll see how we go, depending on how deep we've got the boat in and how well it's decided to stick itself to the skids. Now the boat's been running for 30 seconds or so, we'll just pop him into forwards gear and maybe a little bit more trim up to be safe. A little bit of power on. Just wanna see the bow move. Bow's just moved a little bit, so I can safely come into the bow release my boat catch and then all I do a little bit of reverse and we should start to slide off there we go boat catch releases watching where we're going in reverse I can trim down now as I go off the boat ramp nice and slowly astern back into neutral let the boat wash off some speed so bring the boat in towards the wharf back to neutral so reverse and wheel towards the wharf to bring the stern in and in and out of gear just to keep that direction changing but not really going too fast in reverse. As we get nice and close, climb across, grab my stern line, make my stern line fast, bow line on, and then we can move the trailer. So there you go, we've got the boat alongside the wharf now. We took our time, we prepared ourselves, we took it nice and easy, no stress. If you want some help, give us a call, 1300 262 888. Better boating, ABC. Cheers.